Hello and welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now today I'm going to be continuing the acoustic research um, refurbishment project that I've started. Uh, we've, we've seen basically a bit, we've done a bit of a run around the speaker uh, to show what was wrong with it and uh, what I've done is taken one of the drivers out. I will be, I will be doing both obviously uh, but basically the whole surround is completely crumbled to nothing. Um, so first job is to try and clean all that up because what we're going to do is fit one of these uh, surrounds. I mean the these have it's taken me a while just to, I've just left these to settle because they were quite sort of crinkled up from, from being posted. And what we're hoping is they will, here's one I did earlier, um, a few years earlier actually, but um, hoping will, this is the effect we'll get, but a little bit neater than this because I, I used PVA on this and it sort of spread. I sort of put it in there and it started running, running everywhere. So what we've got in this kit is something called T7000 glue, which I have no idea what that is. Um, it seems a bit thicker than, than PVA anyway. So it's it's going to be a new, exper a new experience. I've always done these with PVA in the past, so we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Um, probably this will be a somewhat edited version because it takes ages to do this. Um, most of the time is taken in trying to get rid of the old bit of driver here. So I've got a, a few tools to help. Um, a trusty old craft knife, which don't use a sharp bit of it, use the, the, back, of the back of the blade. And for around the edges here, uh, just a, flat, a decent flat blade screwdriver, to be honest. So it looks a bit, looks a bit brutal, but it does, does work, as long as, you, as long as you're sort of controlled when you do it. I'm uh, also going to use a bit of um, isopropyl alcohol just to dissolve the glues on the edge. Um, I'll see how it goes around here, whether or not we need something on there to dissolve that as well, but let's see how it goes. So, uh, okay, I'll uh, set the camera up and we'll make a start. And like I say, I'll probably edit it somewhat so you might see the start and then jump to the end so I, th I think because it could be I don't think the camera battery will, <laughs> will last long enough if I'm completely honest I think the, the, ba the battery and the camera will pack in before I finish so anyway let's let's start okay so first job let's get some of this alcohol this little a little pool of alcohol there just to brush on so I'll just go around the metal edge first just get into because that's where most of the most of the glue appears to be to be honest It'll probably take a while just to soak in and just do its thing. I have done loads of these over the years. I mean, um, a lot of Mission 700s actually. I mean, they were such a good speaker, the original original missions, and they're, they're sort of really worth rescuing. Um, I mean, some speakers of that area you wouldn't bother too much, but the Kiss Research, some of the CAFs missions. There's this, you know, the sort of golden age of some of these designs, and it's uh, they, they were really worth resurrecting, really. A lot of work, but it's worth doing. Right, I think that's nice and soaked. So just see if I can. This is probably too early to be doing this, but just see if a bit of pressure on that will bring anything. Yeah, it's leaving the glue actually. So what I'll do, stop the camera for a bit, let that soak in for a while, and we'll come back to it. Okay, yeah, it seems to have soaked in a bit now. I've just done a little bit there, and it seems to, I mean, this, it's really difficult to get all the glue off, to be fair, but I'll um, see how we go. I mean, what, what you want to try is, what you want is a sort of smoothish finish. I mean, you don't want any lumps and bumps there to try and glue to, because you just end up with potential air leaks and that sort of thing. So you're trying to get this as flat as possible. And there's no way you could glue to that as is. You, it just needs to be, certainly, most of it needs to be taken away. So anyway, I'll uh, continue. What I might do is um, put you on fast forward for a bit. That's sort of taking, certainly taking the foam, but it's not taking the glue very well. So, just have to keep at it really, Try to tr keep trying different, different tools on it. I've, I've brought out a smaller flat blade as well, which sort of gets in a bit deeper. Yeah, so that's bringing the glue off better. So yeah, we'll work around, way around like that. Like I said, I'll, I'll just stick you on to fast forward for a bit. I should stick the screwdriver to the magnet, which is great.
Yeah, so we're about almost halfway around. Sort of there. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit. What I might do when I get to the um, right round is just put a bit more, a uh, bit more alcohol onto it just to try and dissolve the last few bits. But it's, it's sort of seems the the back end of this blade seems to be about the best way of doing it. Really, it seems to vary with different drivers somehow. It depends how what they've been stuck on with this. So what what's what's best to take it off. So anyway, let's continue around. Um, I might, what I might do is stop filming this till right at the end because, like I say, the battery might just pack in on me, really. What are we up to? Um, battery charge is 70% already, so I need to buy some new batteries, really. I'll do a bit more, and then I'll, uh, I might, there might just be a little jump in it, <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. Okay, get in there. So we're getting there. The amount of rubbish that's come, come off that is incredible. Right, um, gonna go around it with some more alcohol and just leave that to soak a while. Okay, I'll leave that soak in and I'll, um, what I'm gonna do, probably another 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, I'll just go out one more time around just to get any little bits of surplus glue off and that that's part of it should be done okay i cheated i went round again <laughs> so yeah i've so soaked it and i went actually went around with my fingernail so i've um, completely wrecked my fingernail but yeah it's pretty much smooth now there's little bits of traces of glue left but it's, it's it feels smooth to the touch so it's, it's that's pretty good now what i'm going to try and do now this is a bit can be a this is, this is more tricky than, than, than difficult. It's trying to lift a little layer of glue. Actually, that's not too bad. Layer of glue, that's just coming off. Around the driver. That's just pulling off in one piece, which is quite nice. This feels as though it's got a different glue on it to some. Um, yeah, that's come off in one piece. That's quite good, isn't it? Still got a bit of driver. Uh, foam around still. I think the fingernail technique seemed to work so well for me before. Oops. Yeah, that's pretty pretty good actually. That's right back to the paper. It's just a little bit clinging to the edges where. Um, basically it's not so much stuck there, it's the foam's deteriorated and it's sort of almost become a bit sticky and it's clinging there because it's it's sort of fallen a little bit. That's quite good. It's just a little edge there, I need to get rid of. Yeah. Don't really want to use any blades on this, this part of the cone. Yeah, it's looking good. I think that might be it. That went, that went better than expected. <laughs> so what I'll probably do now is uh, just clean up the driver, get rid of all the sort of surplus bits of bits of dirt. I've got a nice brush here for that. Just hold the driver. I don't want to put too much pressure on, but just try and get all this rubbish out of it. bits just clinging to the edge. Yeah, I think that's probably probably good enough. Yeah. Good. 
Right, I'm just going to stop the camera again. Right, this is the first time I've ever used this glue. Um, interestingly, it's got a bit of a needle when you bring it out. So it sort of self seals it's quite good. Self sort of self seals. Now then, dangerous. Um, probably do the outer edge first because if anything's going to go wrong, at least it's going to go wrong in a more controlled environment. Nope. There's not much coming out, is there? It says to press everything together and just leave it for an hour before you do anything with it. I'd probably wait a little longer than that. Right, I'm going to put a single bead around, around the inside. That totally missed. Typical me, I'm probably going to use way too much glue on it and it'll just go over to me. Doing this to make sure there is actually a constant seal. What is that smell? It does remind me of something I've used in the past. Oh, not it reminds me of. It's the um, if you fill his car filler, the um, active uh, stuff that you use to to activate it. The active stuff that you use to activate it. Um, what's it called? Basically, yeah, basically makes it to solidify. It smells a bit like that. I think I'll go a bit deeper than with this because uh, it overlaps quite a bit. So it's uh, got the other way. Oops. can just imagine the comments on this one. You're not doing that right. Well, who knows? We'll see how it works out in the end. Because like I say, I've done loads of these in the past and they've always worked out really well. But this is a new, slightly new method. That, um, you, totally different glue. Which is making me feel a bit light-headed, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's got, it does say something about... Um, not breathing it in, but how you don't breathe it in, I don't know. Again, you know, it makes you've got a constant, constant bead. Assuming we can just put this onto the actual driver and not worry too much about putting any onto the onto the foam surround, just stick it on. That'll just do it. I'm doing it slightly different to the way they told, sort of says in the instructions, because it's sort of instructions say to do the inner, stick it on, then do the outer. I'm not convinced that's a good way of doing it, really, because I think you, it, you need to sort of be able to centralise everything. So you just go for it and see what happens. I do feel as though there's more of an overlap there, so it probably needs a bit more, but... No, I'm trying to get it... Basically, it on, so it's equidistant from everything. Completely over... Mm. Overdone the, uh, the glue, obviously. Tap, tap it. You don't want to push it in any direction. You want it to. to you want it to st basically fall flatly on there. You don't want it to sort of you start push it, rubbing, rubbing around it. It'll start bunching up because it is very thin. Yeah, it seems to be sticking quite well actually. So I managed to do this without getting covered. Oh, only slightly covered in it. 
there, and back's going. Now then, that seems to be coming up again. So, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. A bit more pressure then. I can see if this doesn't work, I'm going to end up going back to PVA. Seems like it's ruckling up quite a bit. Right, let's get it into the driver as well. Doing exactly what I said not to do. It's actually lifting this, so we'll see. I'm not totally convinced about this glue. Usually it sort of sits on and that's it, but this is lifting slightly. So we'll just keep going round it. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Okay. It's sitting centrally. What I might do is just wait for a bit. I'll just leave it just to go off a little bit and then just go around and give it another press round because at the moment it's starting to curl up a bit in certain places. So we'll just see. Slightly concerned about the inner edge because that's curling quite a bit. So yeah, let's give it five minutes and I'll just I'll give it an, another press round and see, see how that goes. Okay, yeah, seems to that's all it needed really. I think it just needed leaving for a bit and then just um, pressing round again and it's stuck quite nicely now so um, let's leave that to dry and I shall give it a test tomorrow. Okay so I left it 24 hours, um, like I said I was a little bit worried that it was sort of crinkling up around the edges but let's let's have a look and see how it's, uh, see how it's gone now that it's totally dry. Um, pretty good actually, it's gone completely, I think it's almost like the glue has sort of been taken up by the foam a little bit and it's pulled, pulled completely flat. So nice and nice and smooth all the way around. Nice and smooth on the inner edge. Everything seems to have ad adhered properly. Um, driver's nice and free, which is what you want. You don't want any scratching. So if you've done any scratching sounds at this point, you've had it because <laughs> you can't really do anything about it. Bigger drivers than this, uh, I've seen people will actually put little spaces in where the where the coils are to to stop any misalignment. But this basically seems to the eight inch drivers and smaller seem to self center themselves. So yeah, quite pleased with that. Um, the only thing I would have done different possibly is, if you notice, you can see the glue. I've sort of overestimated how far out the little bit of foam would come. So there's a bit of excess glue there. I mean, there is a way, I've sort of, there is a way around this because I was thinking about kind of scraping it off, but I think actually, in the first video I said about on the original drivers, there's a foam piece, like it looks, it looks a bit like a, a circular piece of draft excluder, a uh, sticky back that goes around with little cutouts of the bolts. And I usually throw that away because usually if that, this part is rotted then that's rotted too and you can't replace it, you can't, put, you can't refit it. Um, and generally I just leave it, leave it like this, or more to the point, like that. I've actually found, well there's a couple of companies that supply that, that part, not necessarily for acoustic research, just just generic ones, so I might try ordering a set in and just see if they fit. And it'll just get around this because I don't think this this glue is actually really well adhered. So I don't think that's going anywhere. So I'll yeah I'll I'll, I'll try that. So where are we up to? Um, next job with these. I mean, obviously I need to do, do the other driver. Um, is modification. So I need to order some bits in. Um, Talk about that in the next video. That's quite. I've got a few ideas. I'm trying to hold back on this a little bit and not make it too too wacky. Just some basic stuff that you can do to general generally to speak is sort of a bunny type. But we'll talk through as we go. I'll, I'll sort of talk through it. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, I will see you in a future video. Don't forget to give a subscribe and a like. Um, yeah, see you soon. Thank you.